Hey everybody, July 5th, no, 6th, yeah. So, July 6th, Tuesday, I'm out here uh, dashing the post-lunch shift. The, uh, the couple of hours that happened between the lunch uh, rush and the uh, dinner rush. If you want to call it that nowadays, uh, I mean, it's not like it used to be. Um, dinner, you, the, I've hardly, I don't know, I maybe have gotten two stacked orders in the past month yeah it's it comes from two different things it's one there's not enough orders two there's too many people doing DoorDash and I see it it wasn't this way three months ago um so at least in my area so I wanted to bring up an issue that happened last night because I had every intention of posting a, like a post uh dashing video while I was driving home last night but wasn't able to uh, about three orders in to the dash last night, there was some kind of a data issue going on either with my phone company or with, uh, DoorDash itself. And when these things happen, DoorDash doesn't alert anybody. They don't let anybody know, um, that something's wrong, you know, uh, other people are experiencing the difficulty or whatever. So... I have to always assume it's the app itself, but it seemed last night it might have actually been my phone service not working in specific areas for some reason. We have a big storm coming in, and um, uh, that might have been messing with it. So, but anyway, so yeah, I was on my like third. It was either my third or fourth order. Um, I'd only been out for like an hour or something like that, and the previous orders I had to sign out. Well, I didn't sign out. I had to shut my phone off, turn it back on, and it would pick up, but it would make me sign back in. And luckily, the app saves everything that you have or whatever, but I, then I would have to drive away in order to be able to complete the orders out. I'd already made the drop-offs, and the thing with me is if I have it and I know where I'm going, I've got the GPS telling me what to do, I will finish it out and then figure it out later because it's more important that I finish out what I set out to do. Um than to, you know, deal with it on the, to, to hold things. So anyway, last night was a little bit different. So I finished out my second or third order, got one and uh, Tijuana Flats. I don't know if everybody knows what that is, but in our market, Tijuana Flats is a big, big to do out here. Um, but I got this order. I knew the guy's name and I got to Tijuana Flats and I was having issues getting back onto the app after I'd done the GPS or whatever to get there from my location. So it just wasn't loading. So I was like, well, let me go grab the order. I know the guy's name and I'll figure this out later. Well, no matter what I did, I couldn't get back on. It wasn't happening. So I couldn't set accept or whatever, and you have to be within certain proximity of the restaurant or be able to accept it or whatever, because I don't want to deal with DoorDash's support because it's, it's trash. Um, anybody out there getting into the DoorDash game that hasn't dealt with that, understand their support isn't based in this country and they don't know how to help. They just know what is on their script and they will give you all sorts of troubleshooting things and most of the time it's just, it's a glitch with the actual like restaurant or the customer so they don't really help in that way i had one where i had driven to the place before it was an order i had an order in between i had a stacked order and i got to the first delivery and was dealing with doordash's support and i was supposed to be driving and i'm dealing with doordash's support and I get and I deliver the food to the first customer and the second one was the issue with the address. They put it across town or something like that. And but because I dropped off the first order, she said that it was complete. And I'm like, no, I am literally driving to this one that we're dealing with right now and all that. So it took the entire time. If I had waited, it would have taken an extra 20 minutes to do that. And DoorDash doesn't their support doesn't care about the time that you've wasted trying to fix things. So I got I I'm I don't do that. I don't waste my time trying to work with them on anything. So, but anyway, last night, so I, I got the order and I was sitting in my car, couldn't get the thing to work. And I ended up having to walk back into the restaurant and giving it back to the girl. Um, I have tables set up or whatever for you to pick the stuff up. So I set it back on the table, but the girl looked at me like I was nuts. And I'm 
like, no, my app isn't working. I would rather someone take care of this. I had to drive away to get any kind of data service to unassign my order for me. And that's the thing too, is if it's an issue with the app, as I put as the reason, I don't understand why DoorDash penalizes us as drivers for our acceptance rating or our completion rating. It all plays into being top dash or be having the early access to the scheduling and stuff. And I actually had it once where I was at a restaurant that did not offer DoorDash services, but for some reason DoorDash put in an order for them. And they were on uh, with DoorDash support and DoorDash was like, oh, well, we'll take care of it. They never once contacted me. And to this day, if I hadn't have taken, it, taken the hit on my um, completion rating, I'd still be sitting on there. So, because uh, they never once uh, reached out to me about anything. So anyway, I want you guys to think about what you do when you have issues like that. Because this is all an online service. And when your online capabilities go down, guess what? You don't have business. So, and, uh, you know, if it was Verizon, I have a very big, big beef with them. Uh, because they, they lost me money last night. I ended up just going home because I couldn't couldn't deal with the stress of it. So um, the tip I'll give for anybody who watches this video, just do the best thing that you can for the customer. Um, sometimes it gets out of your control to where you can't do anything. It's better to give it away. Uh, and that's what I learned last night. It's my first time I had to do that. So anyway, and I've been, I've done 1200 something deliveries now. And I've been doing this for nine months and that's the first time I had to do that. So um, I usually go hell or high water to take care of things. I've had it where I've had to go to an actual different address because the address within the app is wrong. And that by the time the DoorDash support would have fixed it, I could have done it. So I just went ahead and did it. So um, do anything you can for the customers. All right, see ya.